Hey, my name is Michael Logan. I'm with Georgia Trade School. We teach welding and fabricating. Today I'm going to go over a pipe beveling machine. So in order to do that, we use oxygen and acetylene. Then we have the lines piped over and ran, held by a bungee cord to keep it from getting tangled up in the hot metal. As you can see, this is the actual machine right here. So, to start, basically we have a lever that you release that holds the machine to the pipe. Okay. When it's released, you can slot it forward and back, and that's basically how you move it along. Alright. All right. Then we actually have a crank system that turns the torch left and right. So you go to the right all the way around to finish one cut, and then you have to come back left for the next cut. Alright? Next we have your two knobs. One controls your gas, one controls your oxygen. Then you have a lever that controls your actual cutting oxygen. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and heat this pipe, crank up the torch, heat up the pipe, and then cut us a perfect bevel. So I'm always going to wear the proper PPE, so I got Shade 5 cutting lenses. Put those on, turn on the gas, start it up. Now I'm going to add in my oxygen to get a neutral flame. Flame, I'm going to move the pipe doubler back onto the pipe and preheat the pipe. Now with this, I'm moving fairly fast because all I'm doing is heating up the pipe. When I actually start the cut, I'm going to go a lot slower. Alright, so now as you can see the metal, see how it's looking wet? That's how I know to add in the oxygen to start my cut. So basically when I'm cutting this, I just want to keep a constant speed. I don't want to go too fast, I don't want to go too slow. So what I did there was I turned off my cutting oxygen and I basically slid the torch back off the pipe. Because if I left it on the pipe, then we get ready for another cut. So real fast, this is a pipe that one of our students cut. And as you can see, what I'm about to show you is what happens if you go too fast, too slow. So right here, he was cutting way too fast. See all these lines? He was moving too fast with the torch. Now I'm turning the pipe. Now, as you can see right here, see all this slag build up? That's where the pipe was actually welding back together. That's where the student was going too slow. And now, as you can see, as you go along, he sped back up. Right about here is where he had the perfect speed. See how it's a nice, clean bevel? So if you do it right, you'll have the clean bevel all the way around. If you do it wrong, you end up with jagged teeth or welds back on your pipe. All right. All right. Cool.